show. Sanchez from Tallahassee, Florida has a question about a sweating AC. Yeah. Now, I want to make sure I get these numbers right, Tom. It says he had a single stage, two and a half ton, 14 sear split system installed 18 months ago. Okay. And Sanchez writes, our summer humidity gets up to about 60% with a new system. And that is uncomfortable for me. The contractor says everything is fine and even put in a smaller two-ton system to address possible oversizing issues. The humidity was even worse. He said, so they switched back to the two and a half ton. Other check techs have come checked it out and confirmed the coils are at the required 25 degree drop. So should I purchase a variable speed, variable speed air handler to replace my single speed handler or purchase a whole house dehumidifier? What do you say, Tom? Okay, first off, we're gonna we know where this is. It's Tallahassee, Florida. The humidity there can be it can be so muggy, it's incredible. So it, it's just the way it is. Okay, you're you're kind of Gulf Coast in Florida. I'll put in one. Uh, so this is what I would tell you: is sixty percent is good. Fifty-five to sixty percent is what we're pushing for through the whole Gulf Coast, all of Florida. I used to live in South Florida. I know Florida very well. I'm, I have my license from uh, contractor's license from Florida. And I know Tallahassee very well, too. Uh, but as far as that goes, I think if you're really uncomfortable, because most people probably aren't, and it's just your partic particular situation and the way your body feels, you might want to add a, a dehumidifier to the room that you're in that you're uncomfortable in. I don't think you're going to, you're going to, I think you're going to spend a lot of money and not get much more than a couple of points, maybe down to 57 uh, if you're lucky, but the system is working right. The temperature drop is good, 25. I like to see 27, uh, 28, but we're also splitting hairs right now, so your contractors aren't lying to you. I think an extra dehumidifier only because I think you're very sensitive and you just want a drier climate, and you're in the wrong place for a really dry climate, that's for sure. <laughs> for damn sure. Do you... Yeah. Do you um, oh, we cussed, yes. I did. Well, no, I said, damn. Like, it's okay. It's holding back the water. What did you think I meant? Anyway, of course, of course. So, on this dehumidifier, is that a system? Would that be integrated into his HVAC system, or would you get units around the house? What, what, what are you recommending here? In his case, it's going to have to be a separate unit because he has a he has a split system, a, a ductless split. So you can't put him in the ductwork. And if you had a, a central with ducts, he could integrate it. He could make it integral to the point of the system. <laughs> anyway, he could put it all together. I mean, I mean, to, say that, Mr. I mean to say, yeah. Yes. You mean so integrate. You could, integrate. Thank you. Gosh. I'm here for you. That's right. I feel like such a snowflake. Well, anyway, integrate it into the system uh, and it, it would work there. So you can have one that will drain outside or to a drain. You can have one that works off a thermostat in your house. But I think because he's very sensitive, he might want to add a dehumidifier. I would not get into all the expense of the variable speeds because you're going to be pumping up a lot of, of uh, ex expense for, I don't think, as much results as you would like because it still has to run in conjunction with the air conditioning system. And you'll find this, Charlie, just real quick. Sometimes you can put a dehumidifier in a home and if the temperature's good, but in Florida, the humidity's still, still really high, so you cut it with a knife, you could actually just run the dehumidifier without the air conditioner and maybe feel very comfortable and save quite a bit of money too. And this is one that'll blow Sanchez's mind. There are parts of the country where you have to put a humidifier in. Yes, yes. I lived in those parts of the country or your nose would bleed, your skin would crack. It was horrible. So it just depends. And it's also everybody, there's a bioclimatic chart your body fits in. Everybody's body's a little different as far as not size, but the way it feels. And it has air movement over your skin, humidity level, and temperature level. And you need to get the three together to be comfortable. And everybody fits in there a little bit differently. So he's just more sensitive to humidity than, say, I would be because I'm so used to it. All right. I actually like Are it. you used to getting good answers? Click on the Ask Tom button. You will be because Tom will answer your question just like he helped Sanchez out there. And we want to help you. You can send us a video. You can send it to us in writing. But you know what really helps is when you send pictures. As you can see right there on there at the bottom, it says pictures help. And we mean it because we want to help you. That's why we post a new one of these every day on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and homeshowradio.com.